and nearly had all had been severely beaten. There have been alleged reports that prisoners and had their hands and feet were chained in a fetal position to the floor for 18 hours or more, urinating and defecating them of themselves. Mental torture. Doctors reported that they found extensive lingering psychological trauma among the prisoners. It was caused by the combination of overwhelming humiliation, isolation, noise, darkness, statements by guards and interviewers. Uh, for example, waterboarding, which was used by the Bush government in the past, um, we uh, we pour the water over the blinded, thirst and throw them drowning to make them feel drowning. I think it's human right because they feel mental pain. So they're the religious rights. In 2004, the soldiers and interrogators had kicked the Quran, the Islamic Bible, and Sutur Alint, and in one case, had inadvertently sprayed Urain on a copy. It became the hard issue. Most Islam, Islamic, especially terrorists, are extremists. This religious torture will cause the pain of those people who are extreme about Islam. Uh, this horrible situation leads the, uh, then why is it bad to torture them? Because it feels painful, of course, and they have right to always be protected away from unwanted pain or infringement. This horrible situation led to the prisoners to commit suicide. On June 10th, 2006, three prisoners held by the United States on the Bay detained mental camp allegedly committed suicide. It is wrong to make people die because of torture. Uh, my second argument is, does Guantanamo Bay go against uh, international law and international convention? Yes, it's it, is, it is stated here that it is a Guantanamo Bay goes against international laws and conventions. For example, Geneva Convention. It is fun fundamentally wrong to build um, Guantanamo Bay to detain terrorists, um, which was built by Bush government. Geneva Convention only applies to war combatants and soldiers. Guantanamo Bay is not on war now, but in order to keep terrorists in Cuba, Bush declared war on terror, and it's now it is it was fundamentally wrong to keep terrorists in Cuba. Since the 9 terror attack, certainly facets of the American government and military have enjoyed free reign to act in a questionable manner with regard to foreign prisoners under the guise of protecting their citizens. However, the citizens of America might be such safeguard if they adhere to the rule of Geneva Convention maintaining integrity of in America's in interaction with other people in the world. From the beginning, the administration took the legal position that the captives brought to Cuba were not prisoners of war, but fell into the back newly created legal category of enemy combatants. Thus, uh, my third argument is does Guantanamo Bay create more hatred? Our team strongly believes that keeping Guantanamo Bay open will increase hatred between countries. Guantanamo Bay's existence fuels terrorist causes. The existence of Guantanamo Bay is cited by terrorists as a tool of the great Satan and is seen by, seen by Muslims in a general as a demonstration of U.S. disregard for the dignity it is, in turn, an effective tool used by terrorists and jihadists to bring recruits on board. If U.S. arrest the innocent people from Afghanistan, torture them, and torture them, of course they will be angry because he is their um, Afghanistan citizen. Even were not the war of terror, war can happen between Afghanistan and U.S. And the fundamental for this um, war will be U.S. building Guantanamo Bay prison. For these reasons, um, innocent uh, human rights uh, um, goes against going against um, going against international law and conventions and hatred. Uh, we strongly believe that U.S. Guantanamo Bay detention center has to be closed mm -hmm. in
30 seconds, yes. Can I use
sorry, do you guys need more time? It's been two minutes.
religious people and we have to um, have them in a safe place. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that we are in the war on terror and then we can't, if we catch with them, we are kind of member. We have to put them in a safer place where they like one time ago because the location help us in that the state is going to become a danger for the public. What that would be offer both in where they go security and isolation for the dangerous terrorists and the making attack escape or attack from other terrorists highly unlikely. And uh, they can do no harm of people, and there is no danger of their allies or like kind of members or whatever trying to break in and free them. There's no way they can do this in Cuba. And also, our second argument uh, is the only thing that we require the women to ensure better safety condition. When we know that many countries don't refuse to have those people, even in the USA, the American doesn't want those people to become their country. And uh, would we um, ask other countries to have those people when American people themselves who, who take in one time we don't want to speak with the government? So there's no other place to sit in one time. Yeah.
the state is like to put because in some exceptions consensus the state have to make exceptional decision in like there is the life of those people if you let them if we catch them if you let them know how they can reach out to the battlefield and kill innocent people so but I know that there's something bad I don't tell about the things not to close my to make um make one that will set the place not close it why Uh, the next question is that you said Guantanamo Bay, uh, the terrorists are hard to get out, right? Uh, what? Hard, terrorists are hard to get out from the Guantanamo Bay prison. Yes, because it's in the mine and, and the place where it is, like in Cuba, for terrorists to come to another place to come to Cuba, even when they are in the sea, we can catch them. Mm -hmm. then, is there a other prison better than the one? In Zemmer? Other prison that is better than the one told Prison? Prison? Yeah. I just want to tell you that it's the only place available for, for this kind of people, this kind of kill, this kind of.
um, for, and also the Geneva Convention, they mentioned that it doesn't apply to the Guantanamo Bay prison camp. Um, that's what we just said in our first argument. But we are arguing that whole US government um, decision was wrong to make the work. So I think it was fundamentally wrong. It is wrong to try to get our sneak from the general convention and make something some vague new term as war on terror. We are saying that it is fundamentally wrong, fundamentally wrong to do it. So we believe that at this point um, their argument doesn't work. And I'm gonna nextly I'm gonna make some extension uh, uh, sorry before I make extension I just want to say one more thing on the record rebuttals. In our, in our team, we're saying why we should close our economic prison camp clearly, and we, we stated our arguments. However, they are not saying clear um, arguments as we, but that what they should, um, they're just saying Cuba is a suitable place for, to keep the terrorists, and there's, they are not even thinking about the rights of the people in there. They are actually, they're actually saying it's right, it is okay to just infringe the rights of people in the economic prison camp. And I want to make some extensions. First is about the innocent people. Um, the uh, first speaker couldn't talk, uh, mention, but he couldn't put much details. Um, in, in these innocent people, um, the US government accepted the fact that most of the people in there didn't get enough trials. And we are saying that they're innocent and they can't even get the trials and they're getting tortured and they're getting their rights infringed every moment. Um, they are not even getting food, clothes, water, their basic human rights, their basic human rights are getting infringed. And, uh, and, our sec and my second points extension was about um, the Geneva Convention, the root of Guantanamo Bay prison camp is wrong. As I mentioned before, it is not right to just <coughs> try to get avoid try to avoid the Geneva Convention and building a Bay prison camp was wrong. So we are saying that finally it is wrong and we believe it was, was just the over power overuse of power of US law. Keeping 
Al-Qaeda member in Gaza? It's not. The general confession is basically about, about the general confession related to the prisoners, is basically about prisoners of what? Prisoners of war. And the uh, war between War between countries. And the uh, Al-Qaeda is in countries? No, because that's, that's the point so, that we are arguing. It is fundamentally wrong to create such a thing as war and terror and killing. It's wrong to do such a thing, but don't come in that high. So, so that was the point that we were making. What? We shouldn't actually have it. It is fundamentally wrong to create something as prisoner of war and enemy combatants and put them into the battle of nations. We are yeah, not in this so Yes, man.
singer's now we can have a little bit. Because they are 
they are there because in Guatemala, as the lead says, as lead as lead say Graham say, they are not touching up, they are professional who are talk who 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 are as in uh, in the other reason. So they are any reason to close Guantanamo because they they respect they, they respect the they, they respect the people who are in Guantanamo. Guantanamo be prison. <laughs> okay, the Guantanamo prison should not be closed down exactly because Guantanamo Bay remains the only detention available at the moment. It is the only place to to keep a uh, this terrorist because the other country will not accept it. And they are not. Do you have a Guantan? Because they are being tortured and humiliated. 
they are not telling like the other people because they are not like the other people. They are terrorists and the other people like as other ordinary people. They are different. So you are saying that those people are not even human? Those people are human. Human who are terrorists. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Guantanamo Bay is torture, suffer, pain, which is formed of mentally, ment mentally torture, physically torture, and religiously torture, sexually torture, our love, our affirmative, our affirmative I have mentioned. Why? Guantanamo Bay prison is a harsh circumstances, torturing people with lights, water, fire, etc. This is definitely an inhumane thing in happening in today's world, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reason why we strongly agree that Guantanamo Bay Prison should be closed down immediately. Today, in our affirmative side, we have mentioned three, three, main, three main arguments, which was human rights and freedom, and the second, which involves the innocent people, and the second argument we have mentioned was about the Guantanamo Bay go against and the third argument, which was Guantanamo Bay creates more hatred. Ladies and gentlemen, since the, of, 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 
negative side just brought two arguments, I could, I could only find two main clashes in today's debate. First, the human rights and freedoms. The second clash is a fundamentally wrong, a funda fundamental. To move on to my first clash, which is human rights and freedom. Like I mentioned, in Guantanamo Bay prison, they are physically tortured, mentally tortured, and religiously tortured, and sexually harassed, and even that Guantanamo Bay prison, ladies and gentlemen. How? How does that torture invade human rights, ladies and gentlemen? From the physically tortured, right of people in Guantanamo people, human rights are that able to do what they want, ladies and gentlemen. Foods, water, and clothes. Those are the three things that have been respected as a basic human rights, ladies and gentlemen. However, even in Guantanamo Bay prison, those three things are not respected. That means that it invades and infringes the human rights of Guantanamo Bay prison, ladies and gentlemen. They're not respected as human. They're not respected as one of the human beings in the world. This is being of invading human rights and people are not deserved as human beings in this Guantanamo Bay prison. So we should, we should close down the Guantanamo Bay prison. This, uh, the negative side I have mentioned about after 2004, the New York Times said there is no torture. Is this really credible information? No. Because the newspapers and magazines doesn't always tell you the truth with information. No, ladies and gentlemen. They always they, they they write with their own perspectives to get it more, more, more to, to get more interest from the people, ladies and gentlemen. To move on to my second clash, which is the fundamental. It is fundamentally wrong. Why? Because Guantanamo Bay prison, they're just terror, not war. In order to keep terrorists, that Bush, Bush administration have declared more war on terror, which is out of the Geneva Convention, ladies and gentlemen. Because of these two reasons, uh, we, we, because of these two reasons, we strongly believe that the Guantanamo Bay prison should be closed. The, uh, the negative side have failed to fail to rebut to our three main arguments, ladies and gentlemen. So because of this, we we took today's debate home. Thank you for this.
And there was a TMC that when the Ramu Bank presents to the night because she'll be closed down immediately because it killed it right in freedom. And if we don't feel it right in freedom, what we have to do? We have to let in free uh, the prisoner who are in Guantanamo? No, if we, if we have to protect uh, human rights, if we have to to, to protect people if we are, if we let in freedom, in freedom the prisoner who are in Guantanamo, we, we make in danger the life of the population. Uh, so the um, second they say because they are to protect citizen. They are also to protect citizen and we know the best way to protect citizen is to keep to keep this prisoner in in a place where we know they can't be uh, the dangers of the trap or they can't disturb the, the national security. If we know they can disturb the life of the population, if if we, we, we don't know so uh, they are in a place well they can't disturb the life of the population so they don't they can't have security in the in the territory or in the national so and the third they say because it's not hatred of people and they say there was such at in in 2004 why now we are we are in 2012 who tell you they are they keep on to use him to use torture in Guantanamo? If there was, of course. I don't know. So I didn't go at Guantanamo. I don't know if they are they go to say they are torture. I don't know. So that's why me, my team declared that Guantanamo will be prison not be closed down immediately because the government doesn't have any plan to close it. To close it immediately, and immediately don't mean after four years, after five years, after immediately mean without delay. We can't close Guantanamo later. And uh, the opposite team doesn't present any any plan to close Guantanamo later, or I don't know after a second minute, after a second hours, immediately. Yeah. What is it immediately? So we can't close Guantanamo. Guantanamo should not be closed down immediately because. We, are, we don't have any right to put the prisoner and the prisoner are a child of danger for the life of the population and the national security. Thank you. All right, I'd like to thank you for being involved for the round. And I'd like all to cross the floor, shake hands, and then leave. So this round is closed to duplication, so we won't be able to tell you the results. But if you'd like to find us later, I'm sure anyone wants to be happy to uh, give you some of that content. You should get. Can you tell everybody to get their stuff, please?
Uh, go back. Go meet to. You know where they go now? Hmm? Do you know where they go now? Go back to the central meeting room. Yeah, morning with Yeah, morning with Sydney.